Yeah, man. Back at it. Uh, doing it up. Fourth annual now. The top 10 joints of 2011. It's the Mayor Mike Jacks uh, Top 10 Sneaker Countdown. Why not? Ain't a damn thing changed except the area code. We're doing it back in the hometown of the 412. So it definitely feels good to be back in Pittsburgh. New surroundings. Uh, same get up. We still count it down. We're still blessed to be picking up enough stuff to um, to be here to do the countdown. So it goes down, man. Uh, shout to the whole Whammo 100 family out there. That's just been the grind since we've been back here in the summertime. Uh, but got to shout out uh, the homies GQ, Tracy Lee, uh, the homie DJ Boogie as well, man. It goes down. Check me out each and every afternoon, 2 o'clock until 7 on Whammo 100. And as we get into it, man, just uh, a nice little lineup of things popping off. You know how we do, though? We always have to toast a little something. Um, so what are we going to toast off to this year? we got a couple selections here. For the sheep, uh, for the sheep, we brought you a little Moscato since, you know, Drake told you to drink Moscato and all the sheep followed. And then um, for the upper echelon, we're going to do a little peach Ciroc. Shout out to the homie GQ that got me stuck on that peach Ciroc uh, for New Year's with the peach Ciroc and iced tea, though. We're just going to cheers off on a Ciroc, though, to another year. And then we're just going to have a little taste of, uh, of the Moscato while we run down the top 10 sneakers of 2011. Is that okay? Cheers to the sheep. All right. We got to do that right. Keep that proper. Seriously, though, Diddy, why'd you have to go to France to make Ciroc, though? Just saying. Just wondering. All right. Um... Like I said already, man, we're just blessed to be here, um, blessed to still be collecting. And, you know, we got shoes falling all over the place. It's only a matter of time, but we had to we had to grab some of the smell goods real quick and make sure everything's smelling right before we get started and take on some of that. We got the uh, Paco Rabanne jumping off the million joint. Shout to Dami on that one. That was real heavy. <laughs> that was real heavy for Christmas. Um, but, yeah, it goes down. We'll kick it off at number 10. And just count our way down as I pick up seven different things that fell over. When you got packs on packs on packs, it's only a matter of time before something's going to take a tumble, right? Uh, so we kick it off at the top. Number 10, definitely a favorite. You see we still got the black and yellow on. And, uh, you know, doing it big with the black and gold joints, the black history months. Um, real crazy. The gold accents on here, absolutely off the hook. And, um... You know, Black History Month coming up in February, uh, Martin Luther King Day coming up just a week away. We're off to a late start, man. We're off to a late start for the top 10 kicks of, uh, of 2011. But these Black History Month joints are just crazy. A lot of detail on here, the gold pieces. And then, um, you know, if you show off the tongue real nice and close, you can see all the real details there for Black History Month. So kind of hot um, and had to pick these up just, just for the Berg's sake, all right, and show those off a little bit. And why not? Coming in at number 10, the Black History Month 3s, the Jordans, of course, and the, uh, the little tongue piece right there as well. Kind of funky, fresh to death. Digging it. And yes, those are those are tasty. Uh, coming in at number 9, let's do those. And um, kind of a fun pickup, kind of a fun um, way, I think, to rock out is the Wolf Gray 5s. But to rock them out with some white laces, though. And just show them off like that with the little white accents. Um, and man, are the is the leather soft on these joints? And if you got them, you already know. By the way, the top ten are all Nike this year, which I'm usually disappointed in myself whenever they are all Nike. But it's all good, man. What else can you say? They're killing the game right now. Plus, I really like the Ronnie Five joints, the Asics, but they're so hard to get a hold of. And uh, actually, besides the Ronnie Five joints. That's really all I would be picking up. It were the Asics and Nikes. That's about it. So shout to Nike though. Um, and yeah, just the Wolf Grade Fives, man. What else can you say? You know, super soft, comfy leather. Are we calling it tumbled leather? And then the white laces to me, just pop it off like that. Coming in at number nine on the top ten joints of 2011, man. Like I said before, it goes down every afternoon on Wamo 100. Check me out. Uh, new music at 2 o'clock every afternoon. The foreplay of four. We count down the four hottest jams in the Berg. 
5 o'clock. We put it down in the mix for your 5 o'clock traffic jam. So definitely check that out. Hit me up, 824-WAMO. It's 824-9266 on the phones. Of course, we're in the 412 area code. Some people like to say 41 stilts. You could do that as well. It don't matter, man. It's the Mayor Mike Jackson. It goes down. Uh, coming in at number eight, we like to do this sometimes too. We like to um, put a couple shoes up, but we're really just talking about that particular model. Um, so we'll do that for the number eight spot as well. Uh, two different pair of the LeBron 9 joints. And really, I was never a big LeBron fan, and I'm not ashamed to, uh, to admit that until the eights. And the eights were kind of crazy to me. But, um, but this year when the nines dropped though, and I just felt how comfy that they were and, um, and just got a chance to try them and what a comfy shoe, man. And when you get one, it just makes you want to get another one and try them out too. And I know a lot of you fools can't wait for the summertime to put on some camo shorts and, uh, and rock out with the cannons. And then of course the Miami Knights. Um, man, if you got those Miami Knight 8 lows though, I see you doing it though um didn't didn't get a chance to pick those up those are crazy hot to death though um but the uh miami night nines very very hot super super comfy shoe man i mean on a fashion tip on, on a on an athletic tip you know I, I don't see how you could go wrong with these man i'm surprised i don't see more um more folks wearing them i mean what is only lebron supposed to wear these on the court kind of crazy um but the lebron nines coming in at the number eight spot at the number seven spot um, shout out to the folks down at Social Status here in the Berg, uh, Fashion Boutique here in the Berg, all the exclusive brands, 717 Liberty Avenue. You can find them online at socialstatuspgh.com. Follow them on Twitter at the Social Status as well. This is Social Status pickup right here. Um, but kind of crazy. I had heard about these from Bodega in Boston. Didn't get a chance to get them there. Um, and didn't even get my size actually. Um, these are not my size, but absolutely crazy though with the, um, they're calling these the Air Footscape Motion Woven, the TZ. So absolutely off the hook. The brown and gray. Got a little ACG action going on on the sole. Kind of crispy with those. And um, just match a lot of stuff. Super comfy. And these aren't even my size and they still fit. Uh, snug, but still kind of decent though. And very, very hot. Definitely digging these. Um, similar sole. Very similar sole, but very different design up top. With the woven, so kind of crazy, um, you know, kind of doing the whole like uh, bohemian thing, but fresh to death though. I'll rock these out with anything and have already, and super comfy shoe as well. That's in at the number seven spot, the number six spot. Um, and just to be completely honest, these are two completely different shoes, right? I lump them in the same category because we're just talking about some white on whites and some fresh crispies though, but then at the number six spot, um, the VacTech uh, Air Force One Low, that is crazy, that just kind of puts the whole piece, puts the whole piece of the Air Force One as, as one, um, as one complete piece of leather, and then you got the uh, all white foam posit high as well, that is all one complete piece of basically plastic as well. But the um, and these joints are heavy as all get out, super heavy. I mean, definitely not for any type of performance for either one of these shoes. Strictly, um, strictly for the look with the weight that these joints carry. Um, but definitely two heavy pickups though. And if you're gonna go white on white, just get all nasty and just make it super crispy white and uh, just just shut a hater down. Rocking some all white Air Force Ones though. You feel me? Um, coming up after we do the whites, we gotta kick off um, a big Jordan release. And these are readily available, but still super fun. And um, and I'm not a big um, I'm not a big Jordan uh, Seven fan, all like that. But the Bordeaux, absolutely off the hook, man. What else can you say with the colorway um, and just a super classic and hasn't been out in forever? So why not? We had to make that big and pop off. And uh, shout the Bugs and the whole gang because I know these were super big, even whenever Bugs was rocking. And um, yeah, man, these are extra worn. But you know, we got a couple, uh, we got a couple extra pair of those. But the Bordeaux Sevens, absolutely crazy, goes with anything. And uh, get on out of here. Coming in at the number five spot on the top ten joints of 2011. And as we keep it moving, uh, classic to me uh, joint because I owned them as a kid, and and I think that's what a lot of folks. Uh, enjoy the most about really collecting is that when something comes out that you had at a young age and you remember it 
and it comes back out, it gets you a little bit excited. But um, but the Air Trainer 3s, absolutely off the hook to me though. And there's a couple different colorways out there. I picked up these only because I got a sick polo to rock with it. Um, but yeah, absolutely crazy, man. Had these in like eighth or ninth grade and just demolished them. You know how it was, man. Absolutely demolished them. But super cool comfort. Um, you know, I don't know how these would be as far as performance for a trainer. I mean, I work out in running shoes, but um, it seems like they would be a little bit comfortable. But at times, sometimes when you're rocking them, you think, man, if I was really working out on these, would these really get the job done? All like that. Um, but super crispy. Um, fly with the little pullover across the tongue across the toe and uh, with the velcro and then the tongue is a little bit crazy too the tongue is a little bit loose you know what i'm saying it's a little bit loose it's in there um but all good the air trainer threes crazy crazy release in 2011 and definitely was digging those this past summer uh rocked those a little bit during the summer too surprised they didn't get more scuffed on them you know what i mean uh but this is what we do though we just collect you know what i mean we peep out i'm looking back here at all the other crazy stuff um because we're in the shoe dungeon right now. And it goes down. Um, we got stuff lined up all around here. So it's a little bit crazy. Um, but as we keep on moving, you know. Shout out to my dude Justin out in Indiana, man. Shout out to uh, Just One. Who, who, and my dude Eric as well. Shout out to my dude Eric Bowman out in Indiana. Who, you know. And Ray Ray. Shout out to Ray Ray out in uh, South Bend as well. Who really uh, helped me get stuck on Jordans, because I'll keep it real, when I first started doing the countdowns, if you go back and watch, uh, there's not a lot of Jordans on there, but now most of them are Jordans. I think that's a little bit of the branding that they've been doing too, plus I think it's a little bit of, um, you know, just recognizing good stuff and then putting it together for the Dornbecker uh, fours that came out this year as well. Real crazy color. Of course, everyone always makes mention of the fact that they go to a good cause, like that is the dude right there, um, a little imprint of him. The, the, guy, the kid that it would actually benefit um, and real crazy with the Superman on the tongue as well. Um, but the Dornbecker 4s with the little arrows and the detail all over these joints. Kind of a crazy colorway, but still super fun. Um, the minute these come out on Nike ID, it's going to be a problemo. All right, so uh, if they ever put the force on ID, and you know that's just a step away, you know they could do it. Uh, they probably don't. You know, it's coming. Put it that way, because there's too much money involved in it for it to not come. Um, but yeah, so the Dornbacker fours, those come in at number three on the countdown as we continue to wake, work our way down and get to the number one spot. Uh, number two on the countdown, just once again, uh, two different pairs of shoes. We're gonna give them one spot on the countdown, and they are uh, the LeBron Lows. The LeBron 8 Lows, the Solar Red joints, absolutely crazy for the summertime. Um, and the Sprite joints as well, absolutely crazy for the summertime. Big summer shoe, uh, wouldn't dare wear them in the fall or winter, but you know, it's all good. Smashed these out a lot in the summertime, had all kinds of crispy, crazy stuff to go with it. And um, yeah, got, got, uh, got a few of these on ice as well because these are going to be fun for a very long time to come. What else could you say, man? The LeBron 8 Lows. Um, just crazy bubble the whole way through. Super comfy. Um, you know, put a little LeBron signature on it and, and charge you out the yin-yang for it, but it's all good. Had super fun rocking these this summer, and they make it up to number two on our top ten list of joints for 2011. And as we go ahead and uh, work our way down, we get to the number one spot, and why not? We have to pop off super big. For the number one spot and let you know exactly what we're messing with right here um it's another multiple shoe it's another multiple shoe um but one style and, and one jump off and i will name an official number one out of these multiple shoes right here in at the number one spot you could probably guess if you've been doing your homework if you know the real deal um if you really get it if you're here if you're focused if you got it together then you probably already know what it is. Let me not leave one out because this is the most number of shoes in at one spot. Now I should be getting warm, right? You should be getting a little bit warm. You should already have a little bit of an understanding of what's going down, right? I need all the hands I could hold, all right? But the, um, but the Jordan 3s this year that came out were just absolutely off the hook, though. The stealth joints, the white cements, the black cements, the flips, um absolutely off the hook and yes i will step up and just put the black cements 
as my number one joint for 2011. Why not, man? These never got old. Um, used to have to buy the, um, what are they called? I got a pair of them right back there. Hold on one second. Watch. Um, you, my dude said this before, and it's true. Um, the Air Flight 89s. When you were a kid, if you couldn't afford the Jordan, if you couldn't afford the, uh, the Jordan th Cement 3s when they came out, you bought the Air Flight 89s instead. And that's exactly what I rocked to my Kennywood Pitnik. So, um, so, you know, it's just super fun to be able to pick up the cements since they came back out this year. The Stealth joints, uh, the white joints as well. And shout out to Stark's Laces. These white joints kind of smacked off, though, with the, uh, with the crazy cement laces, though. So you could suck on that for a little bit and, uh, and take that in because it does look kind of funky fresh when it pops off with the other cement that's on there. You could take that in and swallow that all the way down. Um, but yeah, the Jordan Cement 3s is how we did it. And, um, and fun because these fit in more than just my size 12. They fit in some other variety of sizes as well. So we did it big. We uh, managed to pick up. Hey, you know what it is? We're doing it now from a new location. Hey, we might not pick up 10 pair of shoes next year because this mortgage is, is, is crucial <laughs> right about now, all right? But it's a pleasure, and like I said, it's a blessing to be able to pick it up. Uh, the Jordan 3s, we'll round it off and call those the number one joints of 2011. Why not, man? It's the Mayor Mike Jacks. Once again, like I said, shout out to all the folks out there. Shout out to all the fam, all my family here around the Berg. Um, now that I have a chance to be around again, shout out to the Opsitniks. Um, my Aunt Eileen, Cammie, Steven, shout out to Mom Dukes, Carl out there as well. All my family here in the Berg, man, you guys know what it is. Uh, shout out to Dominic, Jamie, um, everyone that checks me out on Whammo 100 each and every afternoon. Shout out to the homie DJ Opal, DJ Grooves. Uh, Bonnick's having a super big year doing the whole Taylor Gang thing. So shout out to the homie DJ Bonnick's as well and the whole Taylor Gang, the whole 412 man. The homie Pete Butter had a big year moving to the Berg. I see you doing real big things, little homie. Um, the whole Whammo 100 fam as well. Shout out to my other dudes that be out there getting money, man. Shout out to Kicks, Mark, Howie, Jamal, Tubby, all you guys. Uh, shout out to Carl as well who put it down and, uh, and everybody that we're going to be doing some big stuff with coming up in 2012. It's the Mayor Mike Jacks. Like I said, each and every afternoon, man, 2 o'clock until 7. Whammo 100, the website, whammo100.com. Streaming. Get that phone app. Get that iPhone app, the BlackBerry, the Android, and stay connected. And uh, follow me on Twitter, at Mike Jacks. It's M-I-K-E-J-A-X. And holler back at your boy whenever you peep the video. Thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure. We out.